G'day guys, today's project is going to be long and tedious but I'll probably speed it up and cut out as much as I can. I'm going to make one of these today if you're interested in seeing me make this then stick around. Okay guys, here it is. I've jumped forward a little bit. I've started with already having one side of it packed and my um, pattern is in place. And I just wanted to go through and show you some of the, just the finer details of how much work that there is involved in making something like this. It's not a matter of just shoving your piece into the sand and putting a top on and away you go. It's actually painstakingly picking out little grains of sand and flicking them off with a brush or with a tiny little needle point. I've also commandeered my wife's makeup brush, but guys, it's a good idea if you ask first, because there's always consequences when you just borrow it without asking. Anyway, the makeup brush makes an excellent tool to sweep away all those little grains of sand that are in the way. And just go round and round your piece and try and prepare it as best you can. The more preparation work, the better the job will turn out. And also there will be less flashing, which nobody likes flashing because every time you try and sand or cut away silver, you end up losing it. Then when you are completely satisfied that uh, everything's out of the way, then it's time to dust over some corn flour. Now I'm doing it with the brush this time because it's a very special piece. I don't want to just bang it with a sock and knock it out of place. So I'm doing it today with a brush. Time for the top to go on. So I'm using a sieve just to put a bit of sand as a first layer over the top, just to make sure everything is covered nicely and then I'll start packing it in fairly heavily on top. And just speed up the film just a bit to get through this part. Now that we've finished packing, it's time to separate the two pieces just to see what sort of a job we've done. We have a look over to the top side and beautiful, exactly the way I like it. Now it's time to work on the bottom side where we'll put a breather hole in every leg and every feeler until you go right around the whole piece. Next, it is time to put in a channel for the sprue. Next, we cut out a funnel shape, smooth it over with our finger so the metal doesn't stick. Make sure that the channel piece is clear for the sprue. Put the two halves of the mold back together and we are ready for metal.
Sorry guys, I thought I was filming the opening of the mould, but unfortunately it was on photo instead of video. But never mind, this is how it looked. So I'll just nip off all the excess, give it a polish up and I'll bring it in. Okay guys, here he is all polished up. 86 grams of 39's fine silver with my stamp on the underside looking good. I'll just put some still shots up now to finish and I will leave some enders for your enjoyment. Please take a look. Hopefully you can learn something else. Okay guys, thanks so much for staying this long in the video and I'll catch you on the next one.